Now we go to the female reproductive system. Let us start by going in, by starting in the ovary. So your ovary, as we all know, is the one that is responsible for the production of your mature oocyte. So later on in oogenesis or in gametogenesis, specifically oogenesis, we will look further into how a mature oocyte is being produced. So that is the main function of your ovary. And the ovary is, or, or next to the ovary, which is a part of the reproductive system that is not connected. So your uterine or your uterine tube or your fallopian tube is another part of the female reproductive system that is not connected to your ovary but is the one or has fimbriae, um, um, finger leg projections or fimbriae that actually sweeps the released oocyte or immature oocyte that has been released by your ovary and allows it or transports it into your uterine tube. So it is through the sweeping and the ciliated actions by this fimbriae that actually collects the mature oocyte that has been released from your ovary. Okay, so as your fimbriae sweeps uh, this oocyte, the oocyte is being, the mature oocyte is now being transported into your uterine or your fallopian tube. So yeah, yan yung inyong fallopian tube. And then your mature oocyte stays here and waits for a sperm cell. If um if a sperm cell, if it needs a sperm cell, another ciliated action of your uterine tube allows the fertilized uh, egg cell to be um swept down into your ovary. So ito na, uh, into your uterus. So ito na si inyong uterus. This one. So your uterus is an uh is like an apple sized. It's like an apple-sized part, um, part of your reproductive system. So from your biology days, you also learned that your uterus is the one that would actually um, carry the developing zygote. So kapag na-fertilize yon at nagkaroon ka ulit ng silated action, pushing the fertilized egg cell pababa dito sa inyong uterine tube, papunta dito sa inyong uterus, yung zygote na yon or yung fertilized egg cell will be implanted in the lining of your uterus we call as your endometrium. Okay, also note that your endometrium is very much close to your ovarian blood vessel. So, dito sa uterine wall na to or dito sa endometrium, dito rin nag-build up yung blood vessels okay, in order to support your developing embryo. So, yan si inyong uterus. Also note that your uterus in this um, um, parang side cross section ng um, repro female reproductive system. And here, your uterus is very close to your urinary bl bladder. Such that kapag nagkaroon ng implantation dito sa uterus ninyo, your uterus would expand to accommodate the developing zygote. And that expansion actually results to the pushing of your urinary bladder as well as other organs that are present in the female body resulting kaya napupush din yung lungs pataas napupush yung stomach and other organs kaya nahihirapan huminga yung isang babae it needs to breathe twice at it as it usually does because the lungs is being pushed through and also it has to compensate for the oxygen that she needs and for the developing zygote and the oxygen that the developing zygote needs another one kaya yung mga pregnant women then lagi silang umiihi is because urinary bladder is being pushed down by the uterus. Okay? So, if you see a pregnant woman lining up in bathrooms, paunahin nyo na sila. So, that is your uterus. Okay? Next to your uterus is a small opening, okay, which is which, which we call as your cervix. Okay? So, yung small opening na to would lead now to your vagina. The cervix is a very flexible muscle that would allow the opening okay, during delivery ng bata. If ever man merong na-implant na zygote sa inyong uterus. Um, this cervix is the small opening of the uterus leading now to the, vag to the vagina or your vaginal canal. Okay, so this um, vagina is a thin walled tube which is also considered as the birth canal. This vagina 
has a very thick mucosal lining that is also occurring in folds. So, ito, uh, if you see here, there are actually folds that are uh, shown in your vagina. These folds are very important kasi kailangan napaka-flexible ng vagina ninyo as this plays a very important role during birth. Okay, so when the developed zygote or a mature child already is being uh, pushed from the uterus down to, uh, down to the cervix, down to the vagina, mag expand yung vagina ninyo. And so to accommodate that one, um, anatomically your vagina is comprised of is comprised of a mucosa lining that that are actually folds or that has muscular folds okay so during sexual intercourse that folds in your vagina since the vagina is a small uh, lining it also is able to accommodate the penis so those are the wonders of your vagina Okay, so outer part now of your female reproductive system is what we call as your um, pubis. Actually, you have further another part outside of it is your mons pubis where the pubic hair is growing. And then after that, you have your uh, or inner that you have your la uh, labium majora and then your labium minora. Okay, or the lips or what we call as your lips. In the... Ay, hindi pinapakita dito. Okay? But in the uh, in the juncture of your labium minora, may makikita, in the juncture of your labium minora, you will see a group of tissues which we call as your clitoris. So this clitoris is similar to the glans penis in male reproductive system. So this clitoris is known to have um, very sensitive, it's a very sensitive tissue that is involved in sexual or in uh, sexual stimulation note also that in your female reproductive system the urethra which is this one is different from the vagina so in sexual intercourse it is the vagina that is involved while during urination it is the urethra that is involved okay unlike in your males na iisa lang yung passage ng semen at saka ng, ur ng uh, urine, which is all through the urethra. Okay, so it's different. it is different among your females. Now we go to gametogenesis part in the female, which is your oogenesis. So it is the formation of your oocyte. Genesis, again, is creation or formation, and oo is your um, oocyte. So there are two major stages, which is, again, first similar to your um, spermatogenesis, it starts with mitotic proliferation. And then we go to meiosis wherein you have the production of haploid oocytes. And as we mentioned kanina, nangyayari yung mga to dito sa inyong ovary. So let us try to look kung paano siya nangyayari. Again, we start with the primordial germ cells. So you have in here primordial germ cells in your ovary. And then, this would undergo meiosis, producing what we call as your oogonium. And this oogonium would actually, um, would be the one that would undergo meiosis. Pag nag-undergo siya ng meiosis one, it will produce now what you call as your primary oocyte. Or as it enters meiosis, it will have what you call as your primary oocyte. This one is still in its deployed state. This primary oocyte would undergo first meiotic or the first stage of meiosis, producing now what you call a secondary oocyte and the first polar body. However, this does not continuously occur unlike in the production of your sperm cells. In your female reproductive or in oogenesis, in the production of egg cells, the primary oocyte is usually arrested or nagiging, nagkakaroon ng resting stage between the production of your secondary oocyte from the primary oocyte. So actually, in the primordial germ cells, you have around 2 million primordial germ cells. By the time that a female individual reaches maturity or reaches puberty, meron na lang siyang around 300,000 to 400,000 na Oogonium, okay? Or yung tinatawag natin na 
um, follicle, mature follicle, na pwedeng maging primary oocyte. From this one, only around 400 lang yung nagmamature. Okay? So, around 400 follicles lang yung nagmamature at nagiging primary oocyte. Okay? So, at pag naging primary oocyte sila, they are actually arrested at the primary oocyte stage until ovulation occurs. Kapag nagkaroon ka ng ovulation, tsaka lang marirelease yung inyong secondary oocyte. Kaya may tinatawag na resting state at the first meiotic stage during oogenesis or during the egg cell production. Okay, so nasa na tayo nun? Uh, in this image, ito na yung mature follicle ninyo, which is this one. We're only at around at around puberty, 400 na follicles lang yung maiiwan sa ovary ng isang babae. Tapos, yung 400, um, yeah, uh, 400 na mature follicle. So, karamihan nung primordial germ cells niya na wala na during the developmental stage. Itong 400 follicle, mature follicle na, to, na maiiwan, ito yung marirelease every time na magkakaroon ng menstruation yung isang babae or until the time na ma-fertilize yung egg cell na yun. So, yung mature follicle na to proceed or would proceed into the primary oocyte. Itong primary oocyte na to, it, it, it is considered as the resting state during the uh, meiosis 1, specifically yung prophase 1 stage ng inyong meiosis 1. So, nakarest lang yan until magkaroon ka ng ovulation. Pag nagkaroon ka ng ovulation, dun pa lang yung time na marirelease siya dito as secondary oocyte. So, kapag malapit na yung ovulation ng isang babae, magkakaroon ka na ng secondary meiotic division. If it is near ovulation ng female, magkakaroon ka na ng second meiotic division, producing now your secondary oocyte. Okay? Or what we call also as your ootid and what, and what will become as the mature ovum and will be fertilized by the sperm cell. Okay? So, yun, yun yung ating dito. Okay. So, it shows here na parang lumilipat yung inyong follicle in this illustration. However, the follicles in your egg cell actually stays in the same place. Okay, there's just a transfer of the fo uh, there's just a transfer of the follicle up to the oocyte just to show you the process of how it changes. However, a follicle stays wherever it is. Okay, and also remember in oogenesis, unlike in spermatogenesis, in spermatogenesis continuous yon. Sa inyong oogenesis nagkakaroon siya ng resting stage. Okay, later on or on the second on the last part of our lecture, pupuntahan natin um, how are these being regulated um, by some of the hormones that are present in uh, male and, rep and female reproductive systems.